What is going on? It is Andy here. Today, the Wall Street Journal reported that the FDA will be ordering Juul e-cigarettes off the US market, but the decision causes some controversy online. According to the report, this order comes after almost two years of studying data provided by the company, who wishes to keep their tobacco and menthol flavored products on the US market. In case you're unaware, Juul sells e-cigarettes that contain a powerful dose of nicotine. Designed in a discreet packaging, some smokers say it delivers the same feeling of inhaling a cigarette. Now here's the thing, many smokers switch to Juul in attempt to kick their habit of smoking. But since there were flavors like fruit or sour flavored, it attracted a lot of young teenagers to buy the devices. In 2018, Juul stopped selling fruity and sweet flavors as the e-cigarettes became a growing problem in high schools and middle schools. Now, after quite some time has passed as the FDA reviewed the tobacco and menthol flavored products, the decision was to ban Juul products from the market. Although the decision is not a done deal, as the company could appeal the decision, it's causing quite the controversy, as we said online. The purpose of government is to preserve the people's liberty. But these days, it's almost entirely focused on exactly the opposite, one person wrote on Twitter. In February of 2020, the CDC reported an outbreak of lung infections, nearly 2,807, found to be associated with using e-cigarettes. According to the document, there were 2,800 hospitalized cases or deaths associated with injury from using these devices, also known as vaping. This caused the Trump administration in 2019 to look into banning these devices, especially as they seem to be affecting teenagers the most. But some found this to be controversial and often compared it to gun control laws. Shannon Watts, who founded an organization to advocate against gun violence, tweeted, I realize the tobacco lobby didn't give your campaign $30 million like the NRA did, but gun violence is a national crisis, referring to the NRA and lack of gun control laws in the US. Many found it hypocritical to regulate one dangerous crisis in schools and neglect another. Now, since the decision comes out during President Biden's term, many criticize him for the FDA's decision, as others debate if the government should be able to pull a product really from the market. One person tweeted, the idea that a federal bureaucracy can just ban a product is asinine. Some also said that they use the device instead of smoking and wondered if this meant that they would rather have them smoke physical cigarettes instead. Others wondered why cigarettes were still allowed in the first place. Quote, FDA is right to circumspect. Electronic devices offer opportunity for adult smokers to transition off of combustible products, but must be conceived, marketed by responsible actors, one person wrote online. One person rebuttaled, but they're still good with real cigarettes though, right? Because we all know those aren't harmful at all. Overall, there was definitely a large debate online as some wondered if this would cause a black market for jewels or for those who used it as a substitute for smoking. But since vape brands are still widely available, many pointed out that vaping or e-cigarettes were still available and not yet completely wiped out. Obviously, you be the judge. For more trending news, find us at whatstrending.com. Find me, Annie Lani, and we'll see you soon.